Yes, hello. Uh, today I'm going to prick out these seedlings. Now these are kale. Um, other cabbage-like things will be the same principle. Uh, we sowed these a few weeks ago uh, indoors. Um, but now they're just showing their first true leaf. So you get the first leaves of these heart-shaped ones. They're the cotyledons. Uh, and then a leaf that looks a bit more like the, the adult plant starts to grow. Uh, and on these you can see the roots are starting to come out as well. So if we leave them in here too long, uh, they'll start to get congested and the roots will all tangle up. So we're just going to pop them into something bigger. Uh, we've got little pots here. You can use the kind of bedding plant trays with, with six or eight cells in if you like, just to give them a bit more space before they go out. Um, you can't really plant these straight out into the ground um, because it's a bit too cold at the moment. So let's just get a section out. There we go. So a nice load of roots there. And the thing we've got to do is to separate these. Uh, there's some a few key pointers. Uh, one is not to squeeze the stems um, because that's quite fragile and you can easily squash them. Uh, and to avoid ripping the roots as well. So you can hold it by these cotyledon leaves. Um, they're quite strong. Um, so what I'm going to do with these is to drop them just to break up the root ball. There we go. And you can see already it started to open up. So then grabbing a cotyledon, I can just tease that out. See, and absolutely nothing's broken with that. So I'm just going to pop these one at a time into uh, here. So this is a, a seed and cutting compost. Uh, it's fairly neutral, not too strong, because uh, you don't want to burn the young roots. And so basically, uh, you don't want to squeeze it down, just give it a tap and make sure it's firm. Uh, and then with a dibber or uh, one of nature's dibbers, uh, just make a hole and just drop that in without squeezing it. There we go. And give it a shake. I'm just going to top that up. So it can go in as deep as, as the cotyledons there. Uh, you'll see uh, there's quite a bit of stem um, so that you can bury it just up to where the, the leaves start to branch out there. So I'm going to pot a few of these uh, and then give them a good water uh, and leave them to grow on a bit bigger. Uh, you can use an old pen as a dipper, which is quite good. Let's just get this tray finished. Yeah. I just want to use all my pots up uh, on these. Uh, same time, I don't really want to waste these seedlings. So I've got one or two uh, little hacks as well, especially if you're into recycling. Uh, one thing is, this is a guaranteed cert for every household, I should imagine. Uh, these are toilet roll uh, insides. Uh, you can also use like a kitchen roll one, you can snip it up into reasonable sizes. Um, so these you can just fill with compost. And if it's fairly firm, it's not going to drop out the bottom. Uh, even so, uh, stand it in a tray. And then I can pop the seedling into there. Uh, just like that. Great thing with these is uh, once it's grown, you just put the whole thing in the ground, don't get any root disturbance. The cardboard will just uh, break down and uh, become part of the soil. Uh, so that's super. Uh, also got this little gizmo here. Uh, I think we got it for Christmas one year and it's been in the drawer. Uh, but it's great for making recycled ones. So um, I've got some, this is just uh, some packaging that came uh, with the delivery. Uh, so I've cut that into strips here. Uh, and it's quite ingenious because it, it turns just a flat piece of paper uh, into a little pot. So the trick is to get it nice and tight, and you need a bit of overlap on the bottom. Uh, you can buy these, or if you know one that's a, a wood turner, uh, might even make one for you. So I'll roll it up nice and tight. But to be honest, you could use old envelopes, newspaper. I think that's what they're designed for. Uh, put that over, uh, and then just squeeze it in this bottom here. And that comes out. 
Um, they just sort of come apart if you're not careful, so stack them in a tray like that. Uh, and then once that's full, again you can fill that up. It's all a bit messy, but that's fine. There we go. I'm going to get another section of these out. Um, we seem to have got loads out of this seed packet. Uh, I think our friends will be getting them for some uh, presents in the near future. Well, same thing as, as the toilet roll cores. Uh, the whole thing, when that's grown, just stick it straight in the garden. Uh, it rots away, roots come out the side. Uh, it really is a win win situation. Uh, I've also got these butternut squash um, seedlings here. Uh, they're just starting to show their true leaves. Uh, but also, again, I've uh, got roots coming out the bottom, so I'm going to take these bigger ones and put them into bigger pots. Again, you can grab the, the cotyledons, these first leaves, uh, they're pretty strong. I'm uh, going to use some bigger pots for these because uh, they're just bigger plants altogether. But you can see the roots there, uh, starting to go back up the side. So again, just to break that up, uh, drop it down. And then gently pull that apart. Uh, you better hear or feel with root snap, uh, that's not a good sound. But there, every root is intact. So these are uh, a bit bigger, you can't just dig a hole. So we're going to fill the pot maybe half full. Uh, that sort of thing. Uh, just going to lay that in. Uh, these you don't have to bury, but it depends on your plant size. And then just gently fill in around there. Just a very light. Some people like to squeeze them in, but it's not good for uh, the roots. And there we go. So that'll be busting up squash. We'll, we'll grow that on. Uh, that'll need a bit of protection uh, until the May time, really, once the uh, frosts have gone. Uh, and then that'll be ready to go in the garden. Uh, good water is just what they need. Uh, it will help the soil to compact around the roots without uh, being too compact. Um, this is going to go in the cold frame now, uh, apart from the butternut squash that needs a bit of warmth still. Uh, and then they'll be fine to plant out once they've grown a bit.